Member for Vifatna. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I wish to make a few comments on the presentation of the Prime Minister in relation to the loan from the Import-Export Import -Export Bank of Taiwan to finance roads, schools, and so on. Mr. Speaker, it is always very important when any government seeks to improve, whether it be school infrastructure or road infrastructure. And therefore, I wish to indicate, Mr. Speaker, that I continue to liaise with the Minister with Responsibility for Infrastructure, both by way of formal letter and by way of um, verbal interaction where our roads in Viewfort North are concerned. Mr. Speaker, every single government will have to deal with the issue of roads. In some cases, very large road infrastructure projects have been done in some parts of the country, and the other government coming in always finds itself having to build roads. And when this particular government leaves office, there will still be roads which need to be built. I note, Mr. Speaker, that two roads in the constituency of Viewfort North were mentioned, Opicon and Fondesi. I do not know if there are more details, but I will seek more details, more explanations on, on the two roads which I, which I heard. I want to state for the record, Mr. Speaker, that the Ministry of Agriculture, the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Agri Agriculture a few months ago, did write to me as parliamentary representative and the request indicated that there would be this major road infrastructure project and the government would like to consider some of the roads which we have been talking about for a while. Um, many of those roads in Viewfort North, Mr. Speaker, are part of the whole suite of agricultural feeder roads, which started with the Agricultural Feeder Road Program 1, funded by the Q80 government, and a second program of roads, which should have been funded by the Q80 government. The program changed, and therefore the roads of Bamboo, Vigier, five kilometers at Woodlands, the Bellevue Waterfall, Perino Lane, and so on, were to be built. And so, Mr. Speaker, it is for me to indicate that some repairs were done in the Monkayan area and also in the Vijay area. I wish to indicate, Mr. Speaker, that I'm looking forward to the continuation of the road program in Viewfort North, and I am hoping that the Prime Minister's pronouncements will have a little more, when the investigations are done, that you know, they're, they're little, we have more details in there, and that the people of Viewfort North will continue to get relief from the, the, the woes that they suffer. Mr. Speaker, Parliamentarians, as I've said before, would always come to speak about roads. The member for Castry South East would know that he was Minister for, for, for Communication and Works. And just about three or four months after the elections, he was here again pleading for his roads. And therefore, it is not uncommon for those things to happen, that when one government leaves, there is always work to be done. So, Mr. Speaker, I want to say that the work is done with the government to continue the money to continue the program that has started. And with the work that has already started in Viewfort North, the work that has come from Opicon and Bellevue, I want to say the Prime Minister, Mr. Speaker, Opicon. I want to say the Prime Minister, Opicon, and the 
et moi quand regarder pour plus détail parce que massa aussi premier ministre la partie bail tout détail là ça on regarder pour tout plus de détail là c'est chemin qui qu'il fait là et aussi dit fond désir c'est un autre côté en vieux fort neuf côté en chemin qu'il fait fond désir monsieur speaker c'est en place là sorti au picon pour monter en pied haut et fond désir l'ani am fama là aussi et il y a un bon bagage si 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 mais ça a fait mais moi aussi dit monsieur speaker qui yon de yon de patchin travail ça veut dire que patch travail été fait en l'a dans ces chemins en en vigé avec aussi à mon cayenne comme ça nous regarder si c'est travail ça la continuer parce que c'est mon abrisin en soulagement et qui était important aussi monsieur speaker pour moi dit qui moi te continuer même si nous te perd l'élection moi te continuer ka écrit mam parlement ka suite note ak li ki li ki en charge pour chimer qui fait structure ak ces lettres là il y a avec aussi ka parler avec lui pour représenter ces ces monde constituency a pour continuer garder si nous a jeune plus soulagement en les chimer monsieur speaker our people to pay the 150 per gallon in gas tax and no matter what kind of politics people will try to play this thing goes across the board the people who travel to grace and who travel to piro and opico and vigie and so on they also pay the dollar 50 cents per gallon in gas tax and the scores of fisher folk who live in viewfort north assist with their what i what i will say is their not just their share, but their larger than normal contribution in gas taxes, which the government says for roads. So I'm hoping that our people in View Fort North get treatment, benefit from this program, and I will continue to advocate on their behalf. Because two parties will pay set lisi, no pour en chemin avec moi te dis juste même qu'à suis sa office il s'était ministre communication et qui partait ni 4 mois après dernière élection il était venu ici à qu'a parler fort about pour en chemin comme ça 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 ca moutuer qui ça ca moutuer qui monsieur speaker that yo même tout les qui était gouvernement Chimeni pour continuer à manger. Quand ça, ça pas ça pas un, pa un barrage qui nov avec moi qui a gardé pour soulagement par ses constituants moi. And I'm hoping that our people will benefit. Since I had the member for Castle South is C, he only spoke about fields. I will not quote the whole thing, but I just want to refer, him, Mr. Speaker, to page 31 of Hansard. House of Assembly, Thursday, April 26, 2012, where he spoke about the third paragraph. Mr. Speaker, if the claim, and I quote, is that the road network is in such a deplorable condition, as I've heard some people allude to, Mr. Speaker, what can 8 million do in terms of road repair? My concern is because there are a number of roads, for example, in my constituency, the old Belle Road, the, the former J Road, and so on. So, Mr. Speaker, that is, that is you. So I'm just saying that those things continue. And even after this government leaves on, another government comes, we will need to continue to repair the road. So I'm actually saying it's a, it's a positive thing. I just said, you said that. You said in those fields you spoke about. So I brought it because I knew you would say that. So Mr. Speaker, I'm just saying that those things continue. Those things continue. And I'm just hoping that we pay our 150 per gallon tax at our constituents continue to benefit. So I was not criticizing. I was just proving that you said that. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I wasn't criticizing.